Welcome back. Like I said, the stars leave you. Huh. And when I talk about stars, this is one that knows stars. And when I'm talking mm -hmm. about stars, I mean the star boy himself. Yeah. Joining us is a wave making producer, Michael Ovier Hunter, popularly known as, I'll not tell you yet, is a British Nigerian that was born in England and was raised in Kaduna State by a Delta State mom and a, uh, uh, an English dad. His worrying account of how he became London is a testament to the fact that aside human attempts at success, grace is also a factor that cannot be overemphasized, as he has produced songs for notable Nigerian acts such as Whiskey, the star boy, yes, I've been talking about him, <laughs> Rema, Crayon, Tiwa Savage, and Sam Smith's Temptation. Huh. Okay, Tiwa Savage on Sam Smith's Temptation and a host of other music. If I go on, we will keep talking about all the accolades he's received. Just get to know a bad commando, man like <laughs> London. Hey. Uh, thank you. Thank What's you. good, brother? Yeah, I'm Hi. good. I'm Man, good. It's, 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 you know, you're the bad commando himself. In case a lot of people don't know, he's also the genius behind bad commando. Yeah. 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 Bad, yeah. bad man moves. Yeah, yeah. so tell, tell me about your creative process because every time I listen to your beats, there's just this vibe that just comes with it. Like, you're in this... Zone. So, I didn't, mm. How does your head work when you're making a beat? Um, honestly, I, I tend not to overthink when I'm making the beat. Like, I just like to go with the flow. Like, whatever is coming through, I don't like, you know, want to change anything. Mm. I want to like, you know, play for artists to see their reactions first. Oh. And then I also yeah. love creating with the artists because, you know, it's good like, um, you know, coming together to contribute to the mm. music and everything. So, yeah. Pretty uh, much sorry, it. before, what does the energy have to feel like in the room? I have to be comfortable. Like, <laughs> comfortable, right? Like, I, I, want to, I want to see you, you know, move when I'm making that bill. Like, I want to but see you. But we had you. to work with some people that the energy wasn't right, but they are paying you better cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it, 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 it has happened before. Like, I remember when I was in, in Uganda, there was this guy I worked with there, and I was playing beats. I played close to like 30 beats. Like this guy just sat down on his phone mm. oh. and he was just like going on his phone. Then later when I, when I said I was okay, I was done playing beats. He was not like, okay, you see that fifth beat? You see that one beat? You see this one? Then he now picked the ones he wanted. Like there was no energy, mm. no vibe. Mm. You understand? Like I want you to tell me, okay, you, I like this, but can you make this like this? Mm -hmm. Like, let me hear Pray it. together. You know, yeah, okay, right. let me just chip in. I don't know if you were listening to our conversation earlier in regards mm. to Kiki Modi's whatever. I mean, you're not a journalist, but yeah. you still make work, um, you know, art and mm -hmm. all that. Do you ever get yourself entangled into that where you feel like maybe somebody heard your sound and is going to go and copy it? Or even your released work, somebody's, you feel like somebody is, like, truly very, very close to, like, stealing your work and that, all that? I don't see it that way. I actually like it, honestly. Yeah. It yeah. looks yeah. like, um, I mean... I must be doing the right thing for you to want to want copy to me, mm. you know. So yeah, I see it as like um, me inspiring other mm. people to do better in their music, in their right. craft. Right. So, but so, in terms of like maybe this song is not released and then you hear yeah. the it, nah, yeah. I'll see. <laughs> so what's your advice okay. to creatives who haven't really cultivated the culture of guarding their intellectual properties, you know, some people just go out there and they just open their mouth and just share their ideas and yeah, I'm sure you won't just play beats for any random person, right? And I'm sure they're all copyrighted, right? Obviously they have yeah. to So be. what's your advice to upcoming producers? Um, first off, I think you have to build your team. Like, not everyone knows much about this whole, you know, it's more than just making beats, it's more than just, you know, giving your beat to artists. There's a whole other side to that thing. There's the business side of things. So I think you just need to be open-minded, like, you know, surround yourself with the right team who are experienced in that aspect so they can teach you, you know, some of the things that you don't know. Like me now, I don't know anything about business. That's why I have like people who do legal stuff. Mm. Mine is just to make beats and give you the beat. When it comes to the paperwork and everything, like, you know, I'd be like, just talk to the management. Honestly, I don't want but to be you, involved. There's a there's kind of like a pattern, especially in Nigeria, where mm. you give us heats back to back, you, know, you already have that going. And then I very soon, we're now here, you're singing. And inside the music video, yeah. you say, you're doing this. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> nah. You have a few bars. Can we expect that from no, you? I, I actually can't sing. 
<laughs> but I'm not looking at going to singing. Not even rapping. I feel like nah. every man thinks they can rap. Nah, honestly, I don't. I don't want to. You know, go into that. I leave it for the artists. Let them do their work. Let them do their work. Mm. Um, okay, so. Highest I could do is probably like feature them on a song and then mm. making my own song. Right. You get mm. like what well, kind of like what Metro Booming does with um, okay, true. Twenty One Savage and kind of Gunna. Like, sort of like a DJ. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, you've worked with Mavens. You've worked with a lot of big acts. Which are, which one of them would you say I really enjoy working with this person every single time? We always make magic. Yeah. That's, that's a tight. I know it's a tight one. That's a tight I think one, bro. Easy for you to. Yeah, on tea time, I also spill tea. Come on. Ooh. Like this person <laughs> just gives me the right energy. Like anytime this person calls you two a.m. Well, London, you have to be in the studio. Let's walk. Like you're always ready to walk with that person. Just one person. Man. <laughs> Come on, give us a name. Nancy, this is, this is too tight. Don't worry. Like, I don't want to be partial or anything. Like nah. But you do have someone. No, I don't okay. actually. Mm. It's just hard to pick. Like now, I have to start thinking. Okay, who does this? Who mm. does this? So I actually don't like. What would I enjoy that, working? What would with. I tell you? Say whiskey, but. The, the, the thing <laughs> is, like, wow. an, another question I, I would ask that. on the. He said. He said. He thought you last said whiskey because he's like obsessed with whiskey. Don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a serious whiskey FC fan. Anyway, yeah. um, I want to know. Obviously, you have a good list of artists that you've worked mm. with and they're quite mm. big in the industry but is there anybody that you feel like i need to get this person i need to work with this person no, i need drake <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> you live the whole country <laughs> yeah no, past think, the continent honestly i won't say like i'm done uh -uh. but i'm not looking at you know going like really global mm. and everything so um, my eye is more on you know international acts mm. right now but I'm still working for our guys over here. Right. But then I still want to sell myself globally. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like, I want to be that um, Nigerian producer, that Afrobe producer who does stuff for Summer Walker, you know, mm, true. type of thing. Okay. All right, so, you know, working with Mavens and under the tutelage of um, Don Jazzy, how is that like? Because, man, there are a lot of creative minds there. Like, how mm. does he feel to work to be working with Mavens, you know, in house. Yo, the first time I saw Jazzy, yeah, mm. like I was really scared, honestly. <laughs> Why? I swear to God. So that was like last year, I think. Um, I just started making beats, mm. and you started making beats last year. Like proper, proper. I go into the industry. All of this is from so last, last church year. boy drummer. Oh was drumming goodness. in church, right? <laughs> yeah, I used to play <laughs> drums in church. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I used to you know, you know, be around um, OZ cause mm. a lot. Like I used to always follow him for sessions. Mm. So I kind of like learned a lot from OZ cause. Mm. And um, there was this day, John Jazzy came into the studio. I was making beats. Like I was so scared, and he sat down close to me. Mm. And then he was not like that guitar. I was not like, why is he asking me? I'm supposed to be asking <laughs> you. Supposed to know. Like, why is he asking yeah. me? That kind of thing. So it's kind of like, um, it's actually, it's actually nice, honestly, mm. working with the whole Maven crew. Yeah. It kind of feels like one big family, mm. honestly. We don't like, you know, um, they don't um, take it as. It's not always just about business. It's mm. not always about business. I mean, they still have time to like, you know, bond as friends, family, and everything. So yeah, it's okay. actually a nice. Thing. I want to know about. I know you're going to tell me how much you're making, Sha, but you can. I don't mind. Mm. <laughs> but I want to know about the opportunities and how lucrative it is being a, a producer. And not a lot of people care about mm. who the producer is. You hear yeah. banger and it's just the artist and maybe mm. the video vixen in there, but it's barely ever about Producer. the producers. Um, so is it as, is that, does that equivate to your podcast? Like, is it also like, is there a big disparity between how much the artist gets, how much you get? Would you Honestly, encourage people to be producers? I mean, you can be the artist if you want to be the artist. You can be the producer. I mean, there are some producers who have more cash than artists mm. Mm. and everything. So it actually doesn't depend. It doesn't depend like um, if you're a producer. Cool, you could be making your cash. Mm. If you're an artist, you'll be making your cash. But I mean, once you're good at what you do, there's no right. way you won't like you oh. know. All right, so before we let you go, we have to play a game with you because people need to get to know you real oh quick because we're running out of time. So Netflix or cinemas? Netflix. Nollywood or Hollywood? Documentaries. I, I love documentaries. Mm. Niger documentaries or foreign? Nigerian, no, foreign documentaries. <laughs> okay, Niger made or foreign? 
for it. PlayStation or Xbox? Ah, people will shade me for this. Thing. I love Xbox. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Marvel or DC? That's the real deal. Marvel. iPhone or Android? You have to iPhone, think about yeah. that. No, 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 no. Headphones or AirPods? AirPods. Guitars or trumpets? Guitars. Instagram or Twitter? I message. <laughs> Outdoor, <laughs> indoor. <laughs> indoor, man. All righty, man. It's been amazing having yeah. this chat with you, London. And, yeah. um, you know, before, finally, just tell us what's new. What are you working on, finally? Real quick, in I mean, 20 seconds. You guys have to wait and find out. Oh 2021. It's going to okay. be a banger. Yeah. All right. You know, London says so. <laughs> London say so. All right. We wish you had more time, but unfortunately, that is all we could take today. But thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. With, and you see London. A big thank you <laughs> goes out to my special guest, London, yeah. my co anchor, Ife Olua Omai, and then Yola, who had to step down because of social distancing, and the entire production team. Thank you all for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye. <laughs>